my Hackintosh has been running along just fine, but I was only using the standard Intel processor. My idle temperatures were around, oh, 45 to 47 degrees Celsius, but I've been overclocking the processor to about 3.3 gigahertz, and when I put it under load, it starts to jump up kind of high. Under a load from compressor, you can see that the normal temperatures kind of ride up. Right now, it's exporting a 1080p file. I'm also watching a movie on the other side because it's absolutely important that while you're rendering that you watch movies. As you can tell, after a little while, it starts jumping up over 80. There it goes. That's the warning sign. The system becomes unstable and, of course, can, can cause long-term damage to your processor. After several days of searching, many, many, many hours over the internet, probably too many, I decided to go with the Freezer 13 Pro. I looked on many, many boards and I was trying to balance price with cooling ability with uh, quiet with how quiet the processor was and this is one of the ones that ended up at the top um, one of the key features of this processor cooler is this little fan at the bottom it's supposed to spin air out and kind of cool off the um, MOSFETs and the controllers and all that kind of cool stuff but look at those great pretty shiny four pieces of copper that pull the heat off the processor so let's start installing this thing one of the big selling points for this setup was the fact that I didn't have to pull the motherboard out and put some plate on the back and screws and blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. This one was awesome because all it is is four little push pins. So you pop the old ones out. Then all you need to do is push these four little pins in. And as you can tell, it's secure and ready to go. You'll notice that I've already cleaned off the old paste off the processor there. Sorry for the blur. Damn cameraman. Getting it seated in and giving it a little twist to kind of push the paste out. Now all it's going to take is two screws. Two screws, that's all this thing was. Four clips, two screws, and I did the entire installation in probably less than 45 minutes, including videotaping the whole thing. So that's pretty damn good. Here it is all completely installed. You may notice that it's no longer mounted vertically, it's now mounted horizontally. Well, that's because it's just a little bit too wide to fit inside the case. But, off to the more important thing, how is it doing? As you can tell, it's under the same load as before, and the numbers are awesome. It only tops out at 56 degrees Celsius when it's under the same load as before when it was doing over uh, 80. Uh, that's 30 degrees cooler, that's pretty darn good for one of these. This cooler works so well that it even outperforms the stock cooler with the fan unplugged. I wouldn't recommend that. The idle temperature is great too because it idles between 36 and 38 degrees Celsius, which is actually cooler. If you'll notice, the under load temperature is just a few degrees higher than what the idle temperature was before. All in all, I'd say this is a great processor cooler.